Hello everyone, I am Prajwal and in this video we will learn how to perform Configuration Manager 2103 upgrade. Microsoft released SCCM 2103 update on 5th April 2021 and this is the first current branch release of year 2021. The Configuration Manager 2103 update is available as an in-console update. You can apply the 2103 update on sites that run version 1910 or later. The question that most of us have is should I install Configuration Manager 2103 update now or wait for slow ring release? The answer is you can go ahead and install Configuration Manager 2103 update in production and it is fully supported. It has already gone through extensive production testing in many organizations and is already managing 1 million plus devices. Before you upgrade to Configuration Manager 2103, there are few things that you must know before you install SCCM 2103 update. I will cover the important ones here, but for detailed information on this, please refer my blog post on SCCM 2103 upgrade guide. To begin with, if you are running a multi-tier hierarchy, start at the top level site in the hierarchy. First perform the CAS upgrade, later you can begin the upgrade of each child site. Complete the upgrade of each site before you begin to upgrade the next site. You can apply the SSCM 2103 update on sites that run version 1910 or later. If you see any SSCM 2010 hotfixes in your console while installing update 2103, you may skip them and directly install SSCM 2103 update. To get the SSCM 2103 update in console, you must run the early update ring script. If there is a pending restart for the server, reboot the server and then begin the update installation. Usually a pending restart doesn't allow the update installation to occur. Step 1. Download and run SSCM 2103 enable early update ring PowerShell script. To run the SSCM 2103 Enable Early Update Ring script, follow the steps. First, download the 2103 Early Update Ring script. Extract the PowerShell script to a folder. I have got the Early Update Ring 2103 script on my root drive. Next, close the Configuration Manager console. On your SSCM server, Run the PowerShell as administrator. Change the path to the script location and run the enable early update ring 2103 script. Enter the site server name. This is your top level site server name or IP address and the script downloads the update 2103 in console for you. After you run the above script, in the updates and servicing node, run check for updates. When you run the script, in the background, the SSCM 2103 update starts downloading. You can monitor the update download by reviewing the dmpdownloader.log. If you don't see any activity in the dmpdownloader.log file, restart the SMS exec service once. Wait while the Configuration Manager downloads and extracts all the files required for the upgrade. The update state changes from downloading to ready to install. Step 2. Configuration Manager 2103 Prerequisite Check Before you install the update, you must always perform prerequisite check. You may see some warnings or even errors that could prevent installing the update. Since SSCM 2103 includes new prerequisite check warnings, I highly recommend running prerequisite check first. Here is how you perform Configuration Manager 2103 prerequisite check. Launch the Configuration Manager console. Navigate to Administration, Overview, Updates and Servicing node. Right click Configuration Manager 2103 update and click Run prerequisite check. 
After you run prerequisite check, it takes a while to actually begin the prerequisite check. You will see the update status as checking prerequisites for long time. You can monitor the prerequisite checks either in monitoring workspace or review the config mgr prerequisite.log. When the prerequisite check is complete, you see one of these status successful, prerequisite check passed, warnings, prerequisite check passed with warnings, failed, prerequisite check failed. The status of update prerequisite check is shown in updates and servicing node. You can check the prerequisite check status by monitoring the update pack installation status. In the configuration manager console, go to monitoring, overview, updates and servicing status, right click configuration manager 2103 update and click show status. Finally, we see the state as prerequisite check passed. In config mgr prerequisite.log, we see prerequisite checking is completed. You can now proceed with installing SSEM2103 update. Step 3. Perform Configuration Manager 2103 upgrade. In the previous step, we successfully completed the Configuration Manager 2103 prerequisite check. We will now install Configuration Manager 2103 update. To begin the SSEM2103 upgrade process, launch the Configuration Manager console. Navigate to Administration, Overview, Updates and Servicing node. Right click Configuration Manager 2103 Update and click Install Update Pack. This begins the SSEM 2103 upgrade process. The Configuration Manager 2103 update includes the following Configuration Manager Site Server Updates, Configuration Manager Console Updates, Configuration Manager Client Updates, Fixes for Known Issues, and New Features. Since we have completed the prerequisite check step, I'll ignore any prerequisite check warnings. Click Next. We will not enable any new features here. We can do that later, so click Next. Choose the Client Update options and click Next. You must accept the license terms before installing the update. Click Next. On the Summary window, click Next and on Completion window, click Close. The SCCM2103 update installation takes around 45 minutes or even more than that to complete. During the upgrade, do not perform any changes to your setup using the Configuration Manager console. Step 4. Monitor SCCM2103 upgrade process. After you install SCCM2103 update, you can monitor the upgrade process with the following steps. In the SCCM console, go to Monitoring node. Click Overview, Updates and Servicing status. Select the Configuration Manager 2103 update and click Show status. You need to wait until all the steps are completed. You can also review cmupdate.log file to monitor SCCM2103 upgrade process. Finally, we see all the post-installation tasks as complete. If you don't see them completed, restart the SCCM server and the post-installation tasks will now show as completed. Close the update pack installation status window. Step 5. Configuration Manager 2103 Console Upgrade Finally, before we say the SCCM 2103 upgrade is complete, we will upgrade the Configuration Manager console. The console upgrade window appears when you click refresh or close and relaunch the console. Click OK to upgrade Configuration Manager console version 5.2010.1093.1900 to 5.2103.1059.1700. After you click OK, the console upgrade begins. The new version of console is launched automatically. Step 6. 
Verify Configuration Manager 2103 Upgrade. We will now verify the SSEM 2103 Upgrade. In the Configuration Manager console, go to Administration, Overview, Site Configuration, Sites. Right-click the site and click Properties. On the Site Properties window, check the version and build number. Version 5.00.9049.1000 Build number 9049 Let's check the About Configuration Manager. In the Configuration Manager console, click About Configuration Manager. Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager version 2103 Console version 5.2103.1059.1700 Site version 5.0.9049.1000 These details confirm that Configuration Manager 2103 upgrade is successful. Step 7. Upgrade the client agents to version 5.00.9049.1008 After you install SACM 2103 update, you must ensure all the client agents are updated to latest version. It is important to upgrade the client agents to take full advantage of Configuration Manager 2103 new features. There are several ways to upgrade the client agents in your setup. Microsoft recommends using the Client Upgrade tab of Site Hierarchy Settings. To upgrade SACM client agents to latest version in your setup, go to Administration, Site Configuration, Sites. Click the Hierarchy settings on top ribbon. Select the Client Upgrade tab. Ensure Upgrade all clients in hierarchy using Production Client box is selected. Specify the number of days within which you want to automatically upgrade client agents and click OK. In the above example, I have set the automatically upgrade clients in hierarchy to 1 days because my lab has got just few clients. In production, 7 days is the ideal time to upgrade client agents. However, you may choose a higher number as well. Step 8. Update Configuration Manager 2103 boot images. The Configuration Manager 2103 update installation is now complete. Now you must update SCCM boot images, both x64 and x86 boot images. In this example, I will show you how to update the default boot image, just 64 bit, to distribution points. Launch the Configuration Manager console. Go to Software Library, Overview, Operating Systems, and Boot Images. Right click Boot Image 64 bit and click Update Distribution Points. The ADK version that you see in the console is 10.0.19041.0, but the client version still points to the old update, which is 5.00.9040.1008. This is a bug and will be fixed in the next release. Go ahead and update the boot image. After you have updated 64-bit boot image, update the 32-bit boot image with same procedure. This completes the Configuration Manager 2103 upgrade tutorial. I hope this video helps you to upgrade the Configuration Manager to version 2103. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you all with the next video soon. Bye.